Like yep. Yeah, so like How are you? I know what nobody was saying. You know what? It was actually really amazing to be out there because it felt really scary, like especially when people were spot up there. And like, what are What's going on, man? How is it going? Good to see you. Yeah. Major streamer crossing? I'm hungry. Don't cross your streams. <laughs> Wait, there's no public toilets around here. Is there, or did you see anybody else? Not yet. Code frame. Is there lights on on this? Uh, there's a red light on. Good. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Yep. A lightning red light. That's the one thing. Oh, wait. There it is. I can see it now. Yeah, it's just I'm going to have to really use my uh, special agent America? tactics. Mirror, yeah. Okay, we were told it's six months. Oh, what the dog? Oh, but there's also six months. Yeah, 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 be around. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Why does that say offline? Status good. All right. Hi 3G. Done. And it's not still. It's moving.
Oh yeah, nice, nice. Good bread too, soft. I'm not sure if it's. That's weird. Emergency bandwidth status. Weird. It's it was online and then I had to turn it off and turn it back on, and I'm not sure what happened. Neither have I. Warning. Maybe Sprint just has bad coverage in this neighborhood. I wonder if it's. Yeah. Changing settings and stuff. Um, excellent bandwidth status. Okay, so what is it? Walking five feet away. <laughs> Come on. I've seen it happen. I'm hungrier than I thought, so I'm munching on bread. Awesome. Awesome. Got the pigs in the background. <laughs> so uh, for the viewers tuning in now, if you could just let me know now that I am showing back live, just send me a tweet, let me know if we're definitely live. I've been checking the stream and it burns up too much bandwidth uh, trying, to, trying to pull it in while I'm pushing it out. Wait a minute, that just didn't sound right. Anyway, we're here at UC Berkeley finishing up uh, today's events. The uh, students have uh, released themselves, the ones that were chained to the uh, doors by the neck. They've released themselves, they've come out, uh, talking to the people. A lot of people have left already. Um, the students were just released. I'm not sure if it was from custody or, or whatever the situation was, but they came out a, a few minutes ago. And uh, mostly everybody's kind of lingering around, gathering over here, gathering over there. rolling up the signs. So uh, we got here a little late for the majority of, oh, I guess that's not a gathering, that's a band, the little kids, or 
or something. But Code Frame and I got here as quick as we could. We saw P fail. Blog, he is here as well. I'm gonna catch up with Code Frame over here and see what's going on. And this is for, uh, what we're doing here, which is really great. Um, and, uh, and so basically, they, they were able to achieve lots of the demands. The demand of amnesty, I think, was actually the most important demand that they, they really got through because, uh, you know, it showed that, you know, uh, this is the birthplace of free speech and, and activism, really, they should be able to do this without having any fear from cops or from anybody. And I think uh, it's a stepping stone for starting to build a, a level of trust. That is absolutely right. And, and it's really great that, the, that they achieved that. And also the fact that they're going to be getting uh, lots of, uh, lots of different, uh, you know, uh, uh, what should we call it? lots of different um, um, stuff related to multicultural, uh, uh, you know, for example, the fact that we have such little representation from minorities on this campus. Yeah. Lots of different, uh, different issues that, that are totally uh, coming up with that. Uh, I'm really glad. I think their list of demands is very nice, and I think they, uh, I think that the, the, the committee that is going to be formed as a result of this, they, they negotiated with the administration. Uh, you know, it's going to have funding, it's going to have sta staffing, so it's different than any different, uh, you know, different uh, committees that have been put together in the past. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, proud of, of what they, they've achieved here, and I'm, I'm really glad that we were able to support them. Uh, this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sure. What's that? Where are they here? Are they here? Uh, live streaming? Yeah, it is. And this is a live streamer from our group. Of Occupy Cal. And then he's streaming for us to get yeah, some yeah. information as to know what people did here. And I'm telling them about how great the MST students did today. What's, what's the complaint? Yeah, no I'm names live too. No names are saying out. that like, we didn't give people, already, people already asked you to find someone else to just talk on camera. And then we turn around and there you are talking on camera. And so it's like... I went to him because he's a friend of mine as well. That's fine. So. Is, there, uh, is there anybody else that would like to talk on camera? Well, sometimes there's people within the group that, that, that don't... I, I thought what he was saying was very valid and he's very no, eloquent he in what he has to say. So if, if, if he's... I don't even think he knows the identity. Yeah. Well, and, uh, I, I don't know. understand what that was about. All right, guys, I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna check into the, uh, Tahir Square. I'm, I'm gonna go offline. I'm already live. Tahir Square? Oh. How are you jumping over there? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> in. Oh. So if they want to stay on, I'm gonna. I'll be up for a while. Yeah. So Occupy so SFTV. Hashtag Ooh. Occupy SF. Ha hashtag OSFTV. Uh, cool. it's still gonna be yeah, it's got a, a while, so wide uh, angle. Nice. How much did it cost you? Uh, it was uh, about 500 bucks. I got it connected to the internet through this device here. This was donated through a, a corporation that, that thought, liked the idea of Occupy. And they were like, you know, we'll do a trade. You you promote us and we'll give you the device and we'll promote you. So We're actually doing a, uh, on the 10th of uh, December at the Forum, San Francisco Forum. We're launching the Stop Driving Plant to Garden, Yin Yang. It's so like, what's next? <laughs> it's the indigenous, yeah. We had already done a 9-11 Stop Driving a four day identifying on 9-11 that the U.S. government flew planes into the World Trade Center. Yes. Yes. So we know we, that's we true. Had, and we and had, missiles into the Pentagon. Right. That was a MX missile. And it yes, it was. Well, I saw. I actually saw the uh, tail of it on the ground. Really? And they matched it. It matched up with the same ones that hit the milk factory in Sudan. Ooh. Like same, same same style. Cylinder. Yeah. Interesting. Well, since we uh, have some viewers here, yeah. might as well tell them about it. Were you, were you, did you uh, get uh, to see, um, were you here for most of this? Yeah, or? I mean, I was, I'm, was connected with uh, campus since uh -huh. 1999. I helped with the ethnic studies struggle. I've actually lectured on this campus. I've been with the farm. And uh -huh. These are ethnic studies kids. And so there are people of color who are up there. 
I didn't know them. Right. But yeah. Yeah. And they uh. It sounded they, like they got a victory. Yeah, <laughs> I just got wind of it. What was going and one, on? And one of the things that they're doing is they're going to demolish this. It went to the city council. I ran for mayor. They're going to demolish this building. They're going to demolish this building because of earthquake. And I believe this is not about being earthquake proof. It's a cement building. You go inside. There's no way that the earth is going to bring this down. But I do believe that they're doing this to basically, uh, uh, you know, like with book burning, basically when the new building is built, certain uh, studies, namely uh, Hispanic or Latino and Native American studies won't have an office within Eshelman. Hmm. So it's a way of like, Oh, we're rebuilding and we're getting a newer place, but you don't have a place to... Uh, yeah, yeah. So they're cutting somebody out. Yeah. Well. So this has always been a historic spot. Down here is the ASUC, which is always like the student uh, council. Uh huh. So they always, you know, whenever there's a student protest, down here is always where... It's a, it's a way of disrupting the campus for two years. Huh. You know, during demolishing, there's right. no ethnic studies, there's no ASUC me meetings, and mm. so, you know, they use construction to basically eliminate certain things. They're they're doing they're using construction in front of the Federal Reserve to suppress the Occupy movement there. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, or they put a fence around yeah. uh, Oscar Van Plaza and planted grass for what is it, ten weeks now? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that yeah. was right after we went up the trees in the second <laughs> one, and we failed. But we were caught halfway up, and we decided to call it off because certain people were going to get snapped. Right. Yeah. So right yeah. after that, they dug up the plaza, replanted sod. We never got the story out of how much it cost how to replant sod in OG Plaza. That's expensive. Yeah. Why did they replant that side? Right well, they did the, it wrong in the first place. Yeah, they should have put planted corn there. Some sustainable crop. Yeah. Especially with the corn crisis that basically 50% of our corn is now G gone. GMO. Yeah. Anyways, what's going on there? Uh, they've it's been out here. Gas. There's no, is there gunshots? Oh, there it is. There's another tear gas canister. They've been bawling back and forth. No uh, rifle fire, though. Probably that, too. But it's so far away, I can't see rifle. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I've been to Tahir see, Square. See, you Have just you? saw one come in, and then yes. another one just went that way. Where? So they're volleying yeah, back there's... and forth. Let me see it. Oh. oh. Sorry, did I do that? He, t he touched I it. I touched the screen. Oh, man. He I touched the screen. It. You blame it what, on the Indian. What do you guys touch it? The last I did Indian, it. you're going to blame it on. Yeah, no, I'm just going to say one of you guys. The last native. They want to shovel me into the PBO. It was station. me. You know, it doesn't always have to be about racism. Oh, okay. And you touch it. You know it. It doesn't bite. I, so we're, uh, wanna... I'm hanging out here with Code Frame. Don't drop it. That's code Frame. Right. And uh, code this frame? is my friend Code Frame. Code Frame. Yeah, that's live that? streamer. That's my nickname. Okay. And uh, got, we're watching uh, Tahir Square on oh, his uh, just uh, Android device. And we're kind of uh, waiting to see what happens over here with the, there was a discussion going on, a little, a little controversy. And I figured we'd take that a little offline and let them do their discussion on who yes. wants to talk on camera? Anyway, if you wanted to like get history about this, I was the starter of the tree sit, the longest urban tree sit in U.S. history on this campus. You were what? The leader of the longest urban tree sit in U.S. history. Wow. What was your Robert. name? Running Wolf. R Running Wolf? Yep. Yeah. My name's James. Nice CIA James. You. Nice to meet you. Right. He's the mayor of Berkeley. Yeah. What? Yeah. I you didn't, didn't know, know that. Yeah. See, oh, I'm from Colorado. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been in, in uh, California uh, just over a year. Okay. Joined the Occupy movement about uh, three weeks in when I finally found out about it on uh, TV. Because yeah. I, I don't watch TV. And I was at my mom's house and she had the news yeah, I need on. I to talk to Air real quick. What? I need to go talk to Air and I'm tethered to you. Where's Air? Right behind you. 
<laughs> okay, he talked to him off camera. <laughs> so, how long have you been mayor? Uh, no, it's it's a joke. I it's ran joke. for mayor, but it's it's actually we're still going to be contesting the mayor's race. Uh -huh. So I'm a mayoral candidate in a race that hasn't stopped. I see. Proposition 37. We're also going to challenge the uh -huh. validity of the defeat there. Okay. They're using the Sequoia voting machines here in Berkeley to skewer the vote. Well, it's, you know everything horrible. that's done out there is done right. With but this is provable, jailable offense that we're going after. Great. So we're not we're not that's playing excellent. around. Yeah. That's excellent. The the goal is to raise twenty five thousand so we have a hand recount. It's a Sequoia County machine, and we're close to raising the money. So, okay. So it's not uh, one of these pipe dreams. City of Berkeley. In fact, when we were in the trees up at the tree set, the university was trying to get us out of the trees. And one way that they were doing it was that they basically said construction delay costs will cost fifty thousand dollars a day. And the people that were up in the hills helping us fight this project, the stadium, said, we'll cover it. Wow. So there's money in this town. And oh, there's def can, yeah. definitely money in this town. That's, this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is Berkeley. Yeah, this I, mean, is Berkeley. I mean, like where I'm, where I'm <laughs> from, this would, this would probably be the sister city to um, Boulder, Colorado. Boulder. I've been to Boulder. Yeah. yeah I used Wouldn't to play say Frisbee up in, uh, you know, I used to be an ultimate player. Oh yeah. So Boulder is one of the places, places we would, they do. Yeah. yeah, they still do it. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> they would play with like nine players, and because they played at altitude, they're they good. They could run and they yeah. could run and run and run. Well, I used to be an extreme skier. I did that for many years. So high altitude training is, is a necessity in uh, a lot of sports. So. What do you say, Code Frame? Bye bye. You want to get out of here? You calling? You going back I'm to sick. God's? Okay. I'm sick, so. All right. I mean, well, there's nothing else happening. Well, yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. I guess I was just going to see if you wanted to find out. He's, he pretty much had, he covered everything, right? All right, good. And he, he there seems to be some so. controversy over him. <laughs> right. Make it worse. Right, exactly. All of a sudden, we I can, jumped. I can talk to him offline. We jumped from uh, zero to nine, six to nine viewers immediately. After everybody else goes offline, everybody wants to see what's going on. Uh, uh, how's it going out there, everybody? Thanks for joining in. Uh, there's still a little bit of activity over here at the door where the students came out of. This is the building that they were in. Take a look at it. It's uh, an old building that they're planning to demolish. Current information I was just given. The Multicultural Services Center. And uh, that's uh, something that they don't plan on um, putting back in place when the new building is is built. The they'll, they'll cut the program out, yeah. And there's still a few police officers wandering around here and there. Is that, is that Berkeley PD or that's, is that? No, that's UC. This UC? Is, yeah, this is UC, UC uh, jurisdiction. So, uh, cops on California campuses carry full-fledged police officer weaponry, firearms, tear, tear gas, or... Um, In a situation like this, yes. I mean... It's ridiculous, you know, but... So, it, that would indicate to me that we live in a police state. Yeah, but they're not a full rack here, at least. They're not what? Which end is it? I don't know. What the hell is that about? I don't know. Like, oh, we're too afraid to talk to the camera, but you shouldn't either. No, I don't Like, what the hell? Like, oh, well. No, I'm glad I'm I'm too afraid to talk to the camera. It's not my fault. Uh, you, it's, you can always be, do uh, anything you want uh, autonomously. I mean, this is the thing Occupy. Is, it, exactly. <laughs> and, and it's like they were too scared for themselves to even speak. They ran away from the back door. 
to not be identified. Were they and ones that were in? Were those yeah, no, no, they were, no, they weren't inside. No, they were, they were inside. They were outside. Right. Well, I saw there was a, the, the six students came out and, and they, they ran away. They did their wave and then they ran away. Yeah, there was like Only one or one two. The media. Mm. One or two that stayed. Yeah, there you go. You know, so and it's like you know what the. <laughs> but they they did they is this what is this is this this is, list, this is yeah, their yeah, list of demands. And um, hey, they didn't make their statement. I know exactly. And I'm getting the word out to your viewers to get more support for them, and they're they're pissed about that. So their demands a uh, multicultural student development offices are restored. The demand, the one that what they met for, uh, this one is in writing. They met the we demand, demand the, that yeah. none of the protesters in this like see any punishment. Right. Or, yep, okay. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah. they won't get any punishment. That's the only one they. That's the one that they got in writing. The other ones, they they, they basically what they got is that they they formed a committee to have like a, it's going to have a staffing and, and funding and all that to sort of deal with some of these issues, which you know could be good, could be bad. Basically, the, the development, the yeah. multicultural student yep. student yep. development offices are yeah. restored. Yeah, yeah, when, but they're, they're they, going to do it with a committee, multi, you know, people from students, from administration, right. from all over. To, you know, Work together. Yeah, exactly. So it's good. It's a good achievement. It's I a think good, it's a good start. It's a good start, exactly. And the yeah. most important part is the amnesty, I think, because that's... Yeah. Um, Why? Yep. Why would you want to do something and then get in trouble for doing Why? it when you make... You're, you're getting a benefit with, to other people, exactly. I mean. That's exactly well, right. What I understand is why somebody would even... Uh, when you do something so good for the humanity and for society, whatnot, uh, mm -hmm. that, that how can you be punished for your actions for, for achieving yeah. that, that greater good? Yeah. That yeah. just, that blows me away. That's right, that's right. So, Sunday. So, Sunday, what about Sunday? Occupy the farm. Yeah. Occupy the farm on Sunday? It. I can't talk about it, I can't. Oh, well then. Yeah, then. I, don't, I don't know what you're referring to even. Yeah. <laughs> You guys go talk over there. I'm gonna to talk to the viewers for a minute. We have a, a meeting coming up here soon for Occupy the Odyssey. That's gonna be leaving here in San Francisco, going out to the inauguration uh, in DC. We'll be leaving here uh, January 6th. We'll be touring out there, stopping by uh, communes, communities, Occupy, um, encampments that are still active, uh, checking to see uh, how they're uh, working through the, uh, being sustainable, uh, self-sustainable, and um, you know, getting water, electricity, all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, check in to Occupy the Odyssey on Facebook or OccupyTheOdyssey.Weebly.com. That's the website. And uh, it looks like since everybody's out of here, Codeframe and I are going to split I want to thank you for joining us. Peace, love, and solidarity from UC Berkeley. Night, kids.